This is the third and last 2.1 Bluetooth speaker build. Uh, this one's shaped like a speech bubble. Um, here are all the CNC uh, cut parts uh, and they're all ready for glue up. some 12 uh, millimeter birch plywood that was lying around and I cut uh, the sides uh, from that stock material um, and just gluing them in and that will form the complete enclosure. Before I stretch the acoustic transparent fabric over the baffle, I'm just spraying it with a black spray paint so that will make sure that you can't see the wood through the fabric. I apply some contact cement to the edges and then just leave it to dry for a couple of minutes. Uh, then I can stretch the fabric um, over the baffle and it will stick to the edges. Once I'm satisfied that the fabric is uh, sticking well to the edge, I can trim off all the excess fabric. mixing up some body filler that I'm just applying now to the outside of the enclosure uh, just to fix up all the imperfections uh, on the outside filling up any holes. Once the body filler is dry you can uh, give everything a good sand and just smooth it off um, and then uh, as you can see here I'm applying the first coat of uh, undercoat. the top coat in white and uh, just covering it with uh, two or three layers. The internal enclosures for the full range drivers um, is uh, just a hundred millimeter diameter PVC tube um, and I'm just fixing that with the epoxy glue. 
in the back panel, I'm uh, just using the jigsaw to make a hole for the power socket. The enclosure has two ports. Um, they are made of a uh, 40mm diameter PVC tube and two uh, PVC elbows. Um, I'm fixing them with uh, two-part epoxy. Uh, some foam weather stripping is used to line all the holes where the drivers will be mounted uh, and that just provides an uh, airtight seal. In this stage I'm uh, wiring up the power supply and I'm wiring up the amplifier module. Applying some more foam weather stripping so that uh, before we close up the enclosure we know that we'll have a good seal. I'm also using some polyester fill uh, just as a damping material in the full range enclosures and in the rest of uh, the larger enclosure. I think this looks uh, really nice, uh, let's do a bit of uh, sound test. Thank you all for watching, please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. My name is Henry, until next time, adios.